Hey guys, welcome to my review of the Master Grade EX Strike Freedom Gundam. And I have to say, whew, the detailing on this bad boy on just the frame is out of this world. You can see all the photo etching parts that it has. The gold looks great. Of course, the curry gold is the only gold that would have changed, but the copper color, the metallic stickers, everything else just flows in so nicely. So, let's go and check out the articulation. The head can go right this much, left that much, down this much, which is a lot and up that much now it can do the chicken bob of course which is nice it can do that shoulder pads can move independently and there you go check out the articulation on the arm that's a lot a lot and you can do more by the way so check it out here all the way up nicely it does have swivels by the way Check out the elbow articulation here, as you can see. Ooh, hoo -hoo, check that out. That's a lot. This guy has so much articulation. Um, the hands are on a ball joint, by the way. Here you can see it can go side to side, which is pretty awesome that the actual frame moves with it. The yeah, crunch is not that much, but it's still pretty nice. And check out the leg here. You can do the splits. A lot of the splits as you can see there, which is pretty darn awesome. And let me show you the near articulation there. Boom. That's crazy. That's a lot of near articulation. That is just awesome. And of course, the ankles are on the ball joint, and the way they move is pretty darn cool. The toe goes all the way down. And you also get the extra toe articulation there. So this guy is solid, feels great. Man, um, you're really gonna enjoy it. So now that we have seen the articulation, let's go and build that backpack.
So the backpack as you can see here finishing always glory looking great the colors are beautiful the blacks the reds the blue the gold the copper it looks pretty darn awesome the only thing that I don't like is the curry gold that they use between the wings and one of the reasons I don't like it is because not only the color but that plastic is really weak and it feels like it's gonna break or something and I'm like come on Bandai that should have been metallic gold the yellow gold that that's what they call it that should have been a metallic part so it wouldn't have a problem but it, it's kind of scary um, it does have some seam lines that you can see on that gold area it scares me a little bit so hopefully nothing bad happens and hopefully um, some third party company comes out with a fully metallic frame in yellow gold that you can swap it out with and hopefully they do include those parts because I would definitely uh, get rid of that curry gold plastic for something a lot more solid.
Let's talk about the cardboard stand here. Um, this is for the runners. It's very simple. It works. It came in the box. Though so that it, it's just it, it's nice that they have it. Now I'm pretty sure you can fit around three or four runners on each one, but I normally kept it to one because I, I mostly kept it to the yellow gold cards so they wouldn't get damaged or anything like that. Um, I know it's just cardboard, it's something silly, but hey, they included it and I like it. I like the little designs that it has and it's something that I'm probably going to use for all my other builds. So it's nice to get one of these. So yeah, it, it, it was in the box, so I used it. Check it out here, fully armored and detail panel line. Everything has been done to it except that coding and the is a looker. This is probably one of the most beautiful Gundam out there um, in terms of model kits and darn just the design, the proportions. It's old armored up. I love how even if it has the other colors you can still see the yellow gold popping out. You can still see um, the freaking copper color as well. Of course you can see some of the pure gold. It doesn't really bother me that much as I thought it would. But still, if I have the chance to change out those pieces for yellow gold, I will. I will change them out. But it looks beautiful and this guy is just wow. This is probably the most beautiful, well, except for Wayne's here, the most beautiful, you know, gunplot I own. It's just awesome. So let's go and check more of it out. Okay, let's open the cockpit. And there you go. You open it, you close it, very simple. So the shoulders do open up and there you go. It's so easy to do that it just opens up there. Check it out. Woo. Beautiful. That's just beautiful from the side. As you can see there. Woo. Really easy and everything moves. Okay, so let's check out the skirts. Because the skirts also have gimmicks. And check it out here. I always try to hold on to the one that actually moves. And there you go. Beautiful, revealing that golden copper color. Okay, the back skirts also open up. As you can see there. Nice, a little bit of cure gold, but. The rest looks great. The wings here, as you can see, you can pull them out, but you can also open them up. You want to be careful here because they do tend to fly out, as you can see there, but you can just put them back in and they actually look pretty cool. Don't worry, I'll show you guys where it looks like fully open really soon. And of course, the wings do have articulation. As you can see there, you can move them quite a bit. I like that. I'm pretty sure they can spin full 360, but I'm not gonna have to test my luck. And they also have articulation here. A few of them actually do have the articulation. And of course, that's gonna pop off. But like I said, they're beautiful. They look great. Now the back of the legs do have a gimmick and you can open up those thrusters there and let me close it and open it back up for you guys so you guys can see how it actually works. The 
There we go. Okay, the backpack. Backpack opens up here. And this is really important because this is how you attach it to the base. Now, once you got that, you're gonna take the gray part that came with the kit for you to be able to plug it, plug it in there. And this is a little bit complicated as you can see here um, because the instructions isn't that. But what you really have to do is basically line it up and yes this is gonna cover up a lot of the backpack back there but it's gonna keep it there it's gonna keep it secure and that's what it looks like okay so let's check out the bean rifles here as you can see that open and closes this extends out for us to be able to do the transformation of course and there's the hole that we're gonna be using and all you have to do is basically do this and that's it and check that beast out, that looks so badass. It's pretty amazing that he has such a large weapon there, but it's just so cool. Okay, the bean sabers are pretty easy. You just do this. And you just attach them all the way, and that's it. That is the bean saber. Now, the thing I hate the most about this gunpla. Yes. These articulate hands are horrible. The pinky always falls off. Always falls off. You try to move them all together and close them up, they don't close that good. And the other thing is they start falling off as well. Which is really annoying because they, it should be the one of the highlights, but it's not. It's like an afterthought. It's like Bandai went like, ah, oh, you want them? There you go. And that's what I think of them. Okay. So, let me show you how the shield works. You're gonna pop off this red piece here. You're gonna pull this over here. It should also take off the golden part as well. Now that the pack is exposed, we're gonna take the shield and we're just gonna line it up there, as you can see. And we're gonna cap it off here. And as simple as that, it's done. And you get a beautiful shield. So let's take a better look at that shield. The shield here looks awesome. Check out all those little speckles that it has in there. Looks beautiful. The colors, just the way it shines and it glows on in the light. It's just beautiful, 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 beautiful. They did such an amazing job here. And you get two of them, which is pretty awesome. So yeah. That's that's the shield and I love it. I love the way it looks. Check it out. These are the miniature figures of Kira Yamato and Lacus. And they look pretty good, you know. Obviously they're really small compared to the Gundam and there's gonna be, you know, I, this isn't something that a lot of people are really interested in. Uh, obviously I would have to paint them, but I don't like painting these really small figures. I just leave them as there is. Since we have spoken about the Gundam and its gimmicks and pretty much shown off everything, let's go and pose it. Final thoughts, I think this Gundam looks amazing. The colors are beautiful and the gimmicks work perfectly. 
this Gundam doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off. It does not feel like it's gonna break or anything. It feels really darn solid. And like I said, the colors are beautiful. The only thing that I would change when it comes to the colors will be that curry gold. So hopefully some third party company comes out with a upgrade kit of the frame that would be so awesome if they do and you're able to replace all the pure gold for the yellow gold that would be amazing i would buy that instantly the dragoons are very nice but they could have made it easier for you to attach them and detach them sometimes it's pretty much the scariest part of the kit because you don't want to ruin your decals the wire slides and you do not wanna break it at the same time so it's one of those things that i have in this pose this was the final pose that i did this was basically that's the pose that is in right now and i'm gonna leave it there for a while i love seeing the inner frame by the way but one of the gripes that i have is that there's so many armor pieces that it takes so long just to put it together that right now I do not feel like taking it off. I do not feel like taking it off. I do not feel like um, I want to put it back on as well. I'm like, no, let's leave it like that for a while, you know. Um, this Gundam is also, I think it's supposed to be the first Echo Plan or one of those. And the thing is that okay and there's a lot of virtual signaling honestly that's all it is doesn't really matter still plastic at the end of the day um the weapons are great the shield looks awesome the articulation just off of this world the frame moves and the armor moves in sync together just like it should <laughs> it's just great it's probably uh the most beautiful gundam that i own I have showed it to a couple of my friends and they all say the same thing. That is not $100, dude. That's way above that. I don't know if it's the gold or the quality. This is not top coated or anything like that. But they just, you know, they, they go crazy when they see it. And I love that you can display the dragoons like that. Very easy trick to do just with the wings. It's awesome. Now I wish it came with the wings of light, obviously, and so you could have the dragoons flying all around, maybe firing a few final bursts, or just having the thrusters on the back of them flying around. That would have been awesome. But the build, I'll tell you what, the build was long. There were some hardships. I have a full video of the build of the frame, plus you guys saw the backpack in this video and the weapons and i'm telling you my thumbs still hurt my back still hurts i'm still in pain and i'm still mentally like darn i need a break so so you guys are not gonna see a lot of reviews from me until next year because the figures that i have pre-ordered come out on the 24th of december or later so yeah it's gonna take some time but yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.